Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. This is an all over print shirt. This one is specifically um, in Printful, though there are a lot of platforms that do all over print. Printify does all over print designs. Redbubble will do all over print. So pretty much any time you want to do an all over print uh, style design, uh, this technique is going to work for you. So I'm gonna show you using Canva and using Printful how to go ahead and create this design right here. So if this is something that you're interested in learning how to do, go ahead and stick around, okay? So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to uh, create uh, designs for all over print outfits or all over print anything really. So if you ever go on Redbubble or you use Printful or Printify, you will notice that there's a lot of different all over print products that you can do. And you may be wondering how you can, um, how you can really create those and do a good job. And I'm gonna show you it's really simple. What we're gonna be doing is going over how to use um, what's called seamless patterns. And so if I wanna do a nice seamless pattern, what I wanna do is start off with a square design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to come to custom size and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a big square, but you know, still a square. So we're gonna do 3000 by 3000 pixels for this. So it's a relatively big square. And then from here, I'm gonna go up to my elements and we are gonna search for seamless patterns. And it is gonna pull up a ton of these seamless patterns. And so the cool thing about a seamless pattern is that you can use it in a grid format and they just and it goes together and it creates just one you know big pattern, which is really convenient for sites like Redbubble or Printful where it allows you to use a pattern on your design. Um, so I'll show you, it's a little harder to explain, but we can go ahead and pick any kind of pattern that we want. And there's a lot of different fun things that we could do. And so it really doesn't matter to show you the technique, which pattern we choose. I mean, Christmas is coming up, so many different fun things. You can scroll here forever looking for something that you like. There's some pickleball, some, some fun flowers. And so lots of just really, really cool things that we can do. Halloween's coming. Let's say we just wanna go with this really weird purple seamless pattern. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out so that it covers the entire page. Now from here, once it's on the entire page, you wanna to check to make sure that it's covering all of the edges. So you don't want any edges to show through because that'll create a line in your seamless design. But once you have it exactly the way you want it, perfect. Now you can change these colors up here. So if you wanna to try to make it a little bit more your own, maybe you want it to be more orange design instead of the purple, or maybe you want it to be a weird greenish slime design, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, try to make it your own. You can do white and black. I like orange, let's just go for orange because you know what, it's Halloween and we're gonna make a Halloween design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put uh, bats, that's how I'm gonna title it, it's just bats pattern. And we'll go ahead and we'll download this. Doesn't need to be a transparent background because it's filling the entire background, but we're just gonna download this as PNG and hit download. And that's really all we need to do on Canvas side. So now if I'm gonna go over, we're gonna show you how to do this on Printful, but the technique works on you know, anything where you can pattern and design. But I'm gonna come over to Printful now, and I'm gonna show you, so it says create a product template. So we are just gonna do some all over print things. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's go with clothing. And let's go ahead. You can pick all these different fun things. There is something that says all over shirts. If I click that, it'll just pop up the all over shirts. And so let's just go ahead and start with this one all over shirt right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my design. It'll pull up the file library. I can upload my bats pattern to the file library. And then once it's uploaded there, Perfect. 
I can apply it. And there we go. Now it's going to tell me we recommend using a larger image because it is really stretched out to try to fit the screen. Well, no worries. So here's where it becomes a lot easier. What I can do is I can shrink it down to whatever size I want. So it depends how big I want these bats to be or how small I want these bats to be. So maybe that looks a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna see what size I have on here. So right now it is 23.3 for the width. And so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and stick with. And while I'm down here, I can stick, pick my stitch color. I want that to be black. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pattern this design. So to do that, I'm gonna come over to where it says design. And up here, it gives you some different options and I can click this one that says pattern. And then it'll say pattern type and I can just do block pattern. And when I do that, it patterns the design. And what you can see with the seamless design is that when it's blocked like that, it just looks like one design. So that is the way I can do that and, and you know fill up any space I want. So whether it's a shirt or pants or a blanket or pretty much anything, if I do this kind of block pattern with a, a or this block design with a seamless pattern, it, it'll fill up the entire thing. Now we do wanna make sure that as we put this on different areas of the shirt, because we're gonna to have to do the sleeves and the back, that I have it at the same size. So that's where I have to come down here and see what size I selected. So again, I put file width and the size that I ended up going with was 23.3. .3. Once I know that, I can now move to the back of the shirt and we'll just do the same thing. So I'm gonna drop the design here. I'm gonna get my bat pattern and I am gonna be shrinking it down to, what did I say, 23.3? Was it 23.3 or 33.3? See, now I already don't remember. That's pretty close. I can always go back and check. It was 23.3. So back to my back. Got a bad memory. 23.4 is pretty close. So that's what we're gonna go with. Again, I'll hit pattern pattern type and there you go it's gonna fill it in and we'll just keep doing the same thing until we get both of the sleeves now there's different ways we can do this I can do the pattern on the sleeves or I could do the sleeves a solid color so let's say I wanted to do the sleeves a background fill oops get rid of that I wanted to do background fill and I wanted to make the sleeves black and so let's say I decided to do that with both of the sleeves they're both gonna be black and then I can come to my mock-up view And there you go, there is a cool, fun Halloween design. So right now the sleeves are black. If I decide, no, I think I'd rather the sleeves go ahead and be the same pattern, no problem. We can just go back to design view. We're gonna get rid of the background fill. So change background fill to none. And now we can just drop our design here and do the same thing again. So here's my design. I do need it to be 23.3, which means I need it to be actually a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna pull it out until I get my 23, oops, as close to my 23.3 as I can. And that's probably as close as I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna do it one more time on the other sleeve. And we're gonna see the size. So right now it's actually less. So again, I'm gonna to have to make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna pull it out until it's about 23.3 or as close to that as I can get. 23.3, there it is. And that one looks pretty good. <clears throat> make sure I have that right, 23.3. Try the mock-up view again. And there you go. So now I have my all over print design for Halloween. And that is just how you do it. And you can, you can do that with kind of any pattern you want. It's always a good idea to try to change the patterns up a little bit. So either by changing the colors or by adding texture or adding something to the design, you can always overlap patterns too. So some of the patterns won't have a background and so you can overlap. So there's a lot of different ways to kind of make the patterns your own using the seamless pattern design. 
And so that's pretty simple. That's how we would go about doing this. Um, if you have any questions about seamless patterns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. But like I said, they are great for all over print anything bags, blankets. Um, I know Redbubble has a lot of all over print uh, designs or products that are just all sorts of weird shapes. And if you do this, you don't have to worry about whatever shape it is or whatever size it is. We just pattern the design and it works great. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you can find a way to use this in the future. There's a ton of different ways you can use this. So go ahead, get creative and good luck with your quarter four designs. That's all for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.